Hey everybody, welcome back. So heck of a story for you. We might take the roundabout way getting there, but we will make it, I'll guarantee. It all starts last week when one Mr. Rick Bork, who also is a YouTuber here, check out his channel, at your discretion, fair warning, and fellow inmate at the Ford Prison, informs me that he bought a whole bunch of junk online and his trailer's not big enough to haul it home. He was wondering if he could rent mine for the weekend. And I said, no, you can't. You can borrow it, but you're not gonna be able to rent it because you know, in the off chance that I do need assistance with something, all personality aspects aside, he is the one person in the universe that is guaranteed to show up to lend assistance every time without fail, usually accompanied with you know a personal insult. So I get off from work about an hour early yesterday, drag this trailer up here closer to the shop, give it a good check over. Since I'm lending it out, I wanna make sure everything's right. Sure enough, this side marker lamp was not working, neither was the corresponding one on the other side. So I had just enough time to run to the parts store. I got two good Peterson LEDs popped in there and all is well again. Now this trailer is like a 2002, yeah. And it came with incandescence in it and these LEDs are so nice and bright and they just take so much less energy and as much as Rick Bork and Dim Bulb go hand in hand, it still just didn't quite sit right with me. So fast forward to today, I had to drive into the big city to get a new cell phone and well, because of coronavirus and everything, the AT&T store is only letting a certain amount of people in the store at a time. An employee met me at the door and said, sorry, sir, it's gonna be probably till 1230 before we can get you in there and uh, and help you out and this was like at 11 10 a.m so had a little bit of time to kill so we go and uh jones on over to walmart and i picked up some motor oil for the pickup i should know better because just watching people there made me mad so then after i got done with that i went over to well I'll show you l m fleet supply love that place and like I said, had time to kill, jonesing around the trailer wiring and light and everything else section and well, you know, $150 later, <laughs> we've got enough stuff to LED this whole trailer. Well, not the whole trailer technically, just every place the factory decided to put a light on the trailer. I mean, look down this whole side. You got like 20, 25 feet and there's one, two, three side marker lights, that whole way down. I mean, come on, you have room for a lot more lights than that. $150 really isn't that bad. I put more than that onto my truck, just in the places that were lacking from the factory, because you'd think they could do a better job. So like I said, I like the Peterson brand LED lights. So we got six of these 198As, the round ambers. They will replace the remaining two on the front and then the remaining four down each side. Pitiful low number, I know that's what it is. And then we have five of the 198R round clearance lights. These are all gonna be plug and play. I don't need the grommets and I don't need the connectors on the back. They will plug into the existing connectors for the incandescents. So we got three that go between the tail lights and then there's another two on each side of the beaver tail all the way at the rear. So that's why we have five of those. And then we rounded out with four of these V826KR7s. These are again, the LED stop turn and tail lamps. They have the grommets and it looks like a pigtail connector in there because I'm pretty sure the connector at the back of this is different from the incandescents. So we might have to do a little bit of wiring work here but we're going to light this thing all up with LEDs and then listen to Rick Bork be like, LED, how do you spell that? So these side ones are pretty easy. We're only going to do this once. I won't show you every single one. Pop it out of the grommet. Two-prong connector on the back. Then on the new light, I like to pack these contacts with some electrical grease. Gives them a little bit more corrosion protection. I don't even remember where I got this stuff. Then hook it back up to the two prong connector until it snaps in and put it back in the grommet. It's just a friction fit. There we go. Do that seven more times when we'll be done with the round ones. All right, all the side marker lights are done working on the back. You can see I've already got a new one in right here. That's because we're really living right today. Pull this one out. And I'll tell you what, we've got the same three prong connector on the backside. 
we are good no wiring needed that's always nice so get the old grommet peeled out of there put the new one in all we have to do is plug in the light pop it in and we're done I was anticipating having to rewire all four of these it's looking like I'm gonna get by easy Okay, lights are all in, time for the function test. It's probably gonna be less than stellar with this you know, bright day we have going on, but do running lights and pop the hazards. That should be enough to let us know if it works. Front marker, yes. Other front marker, yes. Side marker, yes. Side marker, yes. There's no reason I should have to take three steps between side marker lights, yes. Side red, yes. Signal and running light here. Marker, 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 good. Signal and running light there. Side marker, yes. Side marker, side marker, and side marker. All right, everything's working. That wasn't too bad. So since we didn't have to spend all that time wiring, let's see if we can work the glare just right. We can do a little bit of additional maintenance. So. Take that cover off there. These tongue jacks have been getting a little bit noisy, so this is a good time to probably throw some more grease in there, oil some of these where they go and the shafts turn and you know, it's been squeaking and making noise. Let's just do it. Okay, let's just put some fresh grease on teeth to start with. Throw some down in there. Throw some down there. A little bit of oil where that pivots. A little bit on that side. A little bit out here. And work it in. That's better already. Be quieter than Rick Bork, that's for sure. Okay, both jacks lubricated, put back together, tested the winch out, a couple batteries down there, and the controller ready to hand off in case he needs that. Wouldn't be any good without the controller, right? Spare tire up in the gooseneck, it's got air. I think we're ready to hand it off, so <laughs> yeah, okay. He's gonna be so embarrassed pulling this thing. Not only does it have all the lights, they're fancy LEDs. I mean, he's gonna be like those uppity people he's always complaining about. Like, you know, it's got the same amount of wheels on each side. It, what's up with all this decking? I mean, who has that much wood on a trailer? Seriously, everybody knows you only need a little strip up each side, just, you know, enough for the wheels of whatever you're hauling. Kind of like you're trying to overcompensate for something. Uh, I don't know. He's gonna be so embarrassed, it's gonna be great. <laughs> I love it. All right, he's here. Got him hooked up, checked lights. They're flashing somewhat. I'm gonna wreck it. You got anything to say to the camera? I can I can censor it. I'm gonna wreck it. You need it. You need it. Anyway, so. Oh God. <laughs> okay. That, okay, that's. <laughs> well, um... Anyway, I roasted you pretty good on the video here. I'm sure you can probably do something with I'm that. Perfect. That's perfect. I wouldn't expect anything I'm, less. I'm good with it. Rebuttal video coming soon. Well, there, we got him on the road. Look at that. I'll have to censor that too. Always the showman, what can I say? Lord, what have we done?